Letting go is a phrase we often hear, yet it can feel deeply challenging when we're holding on to the weight of past experiences, relationships, regrets, or fears. We may hold on because these things feel familiar, even if they no longer serve us. Yet, holding on to the past creates stagnation, clouding our present and limiting our future. The art of letting go is an intentional practice that allows us to shed these attachments, liberating ourselves from the burdens that keep us from moving forward. It is an act of courage, a declaration that we are ready to open ourselves to new possibilities and growth. Letting go begins with acknowledging what we're holding onto and understanding why. Sometimes, we hold onto pain because it's become part of our identity. Other times, we cling to regrets, replaying scenarios in our minds, wondering how things might have been different. And often, we grasp tightly to relationships or ambitions, afraid of what will be without them. But when we bring awareness to these attachments, we start to see that they are choices we're making, not permanent states. Realizing this gives us the power to question these attachments and ask ourselves if they still align with who we want to become. A key part of letting go is allowing ourselves to process and release emotions that we may have suppressed. Sometimes, we hold on to past hurt or disappointment because we haven't fully experienced it. We push it down, hoping it will go away, but unprocessed emotions tend to linger, subtly influencing our actions, thoughts, and perceptions. By facing these emotions head-on, we give them the space they need to dissipate. Journaling, talking with a trusted friend or therapist, or engaging in creative expression can help us safely explore and release these emotions. Through this process, we begin to lighten our emotional load and create space for new, positive experiences. Forgiveness is also an essential part of letting go, not only of others but of ourselves. Holding on to resentment or self-blame keeps us trapped in the past. Forgiveness is often misunderstood as condoning actions or behaviors, but in reality, it's about freeing ourselves from the emotional weight of those experiences. Forgiving others allows us to reclaim our peace, while forgiving ourselves releases us from the chains of regret and self-criticism. It's a radical act of compassion that says, I choose to move forward without the weight of this pain. To fully let go, we must also learn to accept uncertainty. Much of our attachment to the past comes from a desire to control the future, clinging to what we know instead of embracing what's unknown. But life is inherently unpredictable, and trying to control every outcome is a recipe for frustration and disappointment. Letting go means accepting that we can't always see the road ahead and trusting that whatever comes our way, we have the resilience and adaptability to handle it. This shift in perspective opens us up to experiences we may not have considered, allowing us to move forward with confidence rather than fear. Practicing mindfulness can also help us release attachments and embrace the present moment. Often, we're so focused on the past or the future that we miss the richness of now. Mindfulness teaches us to be present, to savor the here and now without judgment. When we cultivate mindfulness, we become more aware of our thoughts, emotions, and responses, allowing us to catch ourselves when we're slipping into old patterns. This awareness creates a buffer between us and our attachments, helping us make conscious choices about what we hold onto and what we release. An essential part of letting go is cultivating gratitude. When we focus on what we have rather than what we've lost or what we fear, we ground ourselves in abundance. Gratitude shifts our perspective from scarcity to fulfillment, reminding us of the richness of the present moment. By regularly reflecting on the things we're thankful for, we reinforce a mindset of appreciation, making it easier to release attachments that no longer serve us. Finally, letting go is about trusting in the natural flow of life. Just as seasons change, so too do our lives. Relationships evolve, goals shift, and we outgrow situations that once fit us well. Trusting the process means understanding that letting go doesn't mean losing, it means creating space for new growth, new connections, and new opportunities. When we release our attachment to what was, we align ourselves with what could be. Life opens up in beautiful ways when we give ourselves permission to move forward without clinging to the past. Letting go is a journey, one that requires patience, compassion, and a willingness to embrace uncertainty. But when we master this art, we find freedom. We find that by releasing what no longer serves us, we open the door to a more vibrant, fulfilling life. Instead of being weighed down by old baggage, we move forward lightly, open to everything life has to offer. 
In this way, letting go is not an end but a beginning, a fresh start, a new chapter, and an invitation to live fully in the present, unburdened and at peace.